Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, this is just going to be a quick video to help out some Fusion 360 users that want to learn how to program straight line cuts, also known as relief cuts. Here I've opened up a compressor bracket that I designed for my son's hot rod stroller that I built. It needed some relief cuts so that I could bend it by hand. <clears throat> so I'm just going to use this as an example and show you guys how to program this in Fusion. So I've already got the setup created. Um, you should already know how to do that if you're at this point, so we're going to skip that. Um, so we'll start by creating a 2D profile. We'll select our uh, tool. I'm just going to leave this as uh, the default because it doesn't really matter in this situation. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create different 2D profiles under our setup. Um, instead of, you know, typically you would just create the one profile, which I'm sure most of you do. Um, and, you know, you would select your, your circles or your inner cuts, and then you would select your outer cut, and it would just be one 2D profile. In this case, we're going to create separate 2D profiles under our setup. So you want to create these in the order that they're going to be cut. So first, we want to cut the lines, then we're going to cut the circles, and then we're going to cut the outside line. So first, we're going to start by creating a 2D profile specifically just for the straight line cuts. So on this 2D profile for the contour selection, we're just going to select the lines. So we'll go through and we'll select all these lines, these straight line relief cuts. Okay. And uh, the direction doesn't really matter, but whenever there's two lines like this, I kind of just like to make them point towards each other. It's just personal preference. Um, all right, skip this tab, go to this tab. Um, so this is important. Change it from left to center. That puts the arrows on the line. And then we're gonna go to the next tab and then disable lead in disable lead out, and then your pierce clearance, make that zero, that's important. If you leave that to the default, it's gonna wanna lead in still, so make sure that's set to zero. Click okay, and now you'll see if you zoom in that that's a straight line cut, all right? Now that's created one 2D profile just for those cuts. Now, here's uh, something that you probably probably haven't seen before. To set up your next 2D profile, you want to come up here and right-click under Setup, right-click on Setup, hover over New Operation, Cutting, and then click 2D Profile. And you see how it put a new 2D profile under your setup. So now we're going to create, um, here's where I would do the circles next. So uh, select your tool. So I'm going to do the bigger circles first because this is another neat thing you can do here is you can put different um, lead-ins on your uh, interior cuts. So. For this one, I'm going to select the bigger circles, and I'm going to do um, a bigger lead-in on these to make cleaner cuts. So let's skip over. We'll do in computer here, and then come over here, and we're going to do a 0 0.08, 90, 0 0.08 lead-in. All right. And then we're going to come up here, right click on setup, new operation, cutting, 2D profile. So now we get a third 2D profile. So um, I forgot to mention actually, whenever you click on, uh, whenever you right click and then do new 2D profile, it actually brings in all of the settings from your first 2D profile as far as the tool and your, uh, your feed rates. So um, 
you don't have to select your tool again after you've created your first 2D profile. And then also for each 2D profile, you could change your feed rate. So I could make this 60 inches per minute if I wanted to. So we'll just do that just so I can come back and show you that if I wanted to make these circles uh, cut faster than everything else, I can do that. And this is all gonna be under one cut program, under one G code file. So now we'll come in here and we'll select um, the smaller circles. And we're gonna do 0 0.04 for these. 90 degrees, 0 0.04. All right, and you zoom in, you can see you have to do 0.04 because this is such a small hole to cut. Now, all that's left is to cut this, this uh, outer perimeter. So we'll come up here, right click, new operation, uh, cutting 2D profile, and then see it uh, brought in the 60 inches per minute from that previous um, profile. So I'm just gonna leave it um, and we'll select the exterior line, leave it left in computer, we'll do 0 0.08, 90, 0 0.08, okay. Now here's the most important thing. Whenever you create your G-code file, you cannot have any of these selected, you know, if you notice, whenever you select each of these 2D profiles, it shows you, you know, what's programmed on these, on these 2D profiles. So what you need to do to create your G code is to click the setup file. Make sure you have setup selected, and then you create your G code file. So just to give you an example, if you click on this 2D profile here, and then you click simulate, and you press play, you can see that it only simulates that straight line cut. Same thing if you selected any of these other 2D profiles. Now if you select setup, and then you click simulate, let me slow this down a little bit, press play, now it's going to simulate the entire uh, program, all these 2D profiles in order that you created them in. So very important that you have setup selected when you create your G-code. And then just to show you what we talked about as far as speed goes, uh, the first 2D profile, you know, set to 40. And then if we come down here to the third one and click edit, it's set to 60. So in this one G-code file that we'll, we will create, we'll have two different uh, speeds and we'll have two different um, lead-ins and uh, you know, two different, you know, have straight line cuts, interior cuts for these circles and exterior cuts. So it just goes to show you how much different stuff you can program under one G-code file. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, hope you learned something and uh, don't forget to subscribe and get out there and make something.